I need some sort of intro or something, dude. Damn. So, a problem I always had was seeing console games. I'm a PC gamer, so I can use the Windows magnifier whenever I don't see something that I need to read. But on the console, you can't do that, obviously. But, I found a workaround. So, I don't play much of the Xbox One, but my brother does have one. And when Final Fantasy 15 came out last year, they didn't have a PC port for it, so I bought it on the console. I had a lot of trouble reading what was on the screen whenever I would pick up items and read their stats. So, first, I tried using my phone as a magnifier fire but that didn't work that well because it took forever to focus it looked real bad i don't have an electronic magnifier so i thought of a solution what if i use the xbox one to the pc streaming and then use my magnifier on my computer to zoom in and out so if you don't know microsoft offers a way to play your console on your pc it streams the video coming out of your console onto your pc almost like you're watching a live stream but you could use an xbox one controller connect it to your pc and then use that to game on your xbox one and it works really well actually you think there'd be a lot of lag but no it works pretty well so all you're gonna need is the xbox one a computer with windows 10 it doesn't even have to be a powerful computer because your xbox one is just streaming to your pc so any windows 10 computer and a wired or wireless controller that could connect to your pc or you can also just use your xbox one controller but since my brother's xbox one is in another room it'd be best just to connect the wired controller to my computer which is what i do normally but i couldn't find mine today so I had to use the wireless one Whoops. So launch the Xbox app on your Windows 10 computer. And if you're not signed in, sign in with the same account you use on your Xbox because both accounts need to be exactly the same. Once you sign in, then on the bottom left, you'll see a settings. Right above that is connection, which is what you're gonna be using later. Then go up to where it says Xbox One. Here you have a couple different settings. You can change the streaming quality from low to very high. I keep mine at high. It just depends on your network connection. And then you could set to hide the on-screen keyboard whenever you're typing. Since you're on your computer and it's taking in inputs from your computer like your controller. So I'm going to cheat a little here. I'm going to connect to the Xbox using streaming and show you how to. Because the Xbox is in the living room and it's pretty noisy there. And I have no way to record. So, so open up your Xbox, go to settings, then to preferences, and then game DVR. Then check the checkbox that says allow game streaming to other devices. Once you do that, go back to your computer then go to connection since this is your first time connecting to your xbox make sure they're both on the same network and they're both signed into the same account click on connect and then add your xbox one once you do that these icons will change to streaming stream testing and more options so when you click on stream it should load up and you should be streaming to your xbox a little window pops up for me telling me i don't have a controller connected like i said earlier i couldn't find it but i am using the controller that's synced directly to the console see now that i'm connected i could zoom in and out just like any old program up here you can stop streaming and you could change the quality of the stream now that i'm connected i'm gonna launch a game i was gonna launch final fantasy because that's a game i can actually play unlike a first person shooter but since i don't have it installed i'll use titanfall 2 instead this is to show how well streaming works for gaming and also how awesome it is to zoom in and out see it looks perfectly clear and i could zoom in and out to read stuff that normally i wouldn't be able to this worked really well for games like final fantasy where there's a lot of different items that you have to use that you have to read stats on i can see this working really well for that kind of stuff just quickly zooming in and reading something and then you can zoom back on so here i was experiencing a little bit of lag so I changed the setting down to high instead of very high. Obviously there is a slight quality difference. It's 100% better to just use the display that's directly connected to your Xbox. Honestly, what difference does it make? You're blind as hell, let's be honest. I played a lot of Final Fantasy like this. I think I put in around 50 hours like this, so it worked perfectly fine once you get your settings right. I really hate using the controller. I'm a keyboard and mouse type of person, so this was really weird for me. Plus, I'm pretty bad at first person shooters, so bear with me. But yeah, it looks pretty good. Hopefully this helps you so you can play games if you're a console gamer and you have a Windows 10 computer. You could use anything, a Surface, tablet, a really crappy Windows 10 computer, as long as it has Windows 10. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Also, I have one subscriber, Hype.